Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mansion 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're doing another request in which someone asked in video games when the player shoots the floor and they then bounce up, how would we create that? So, I'm going to be making that mechanic today. The player will shoot the floor and the player then flies upwards. So, the force of the gun is forcing them up. So, this is quite good for FPSs or any kind of game, but let me show you what this is going to look like now. So, if we hit play and get in. You see, if I shoot over there, nothing's going to happen. The bullet just despawns as it gets destroyed as it hits something. You don't have to have it that way. But that's how I've got it. If I shoot on the floor near the player, we're going to bounce up like so. So this is what we're going to be creating today. If we shoot far away from the player, nothing will happen. If we shoot down towards the floor where we are, it's going to spawn us in and jump us up like that. Sorry, it's not spawns in, but just jump us up like so. And as you can see, if we shoot directly down, that uh, doesn't work. And that's not anything with this system. That's just the first person template always has that with this gun. If you shoot directly down, the bullet always despawns, even with the default code. It just does that. I believe it's something to do with the collision. I'm not sure, but obviously, if you just shoot kind of down an angle like that, then it works. But if you shoot directly down, it just glitches straight through the floor. But we're going to be creating this today, and this is what it's going to do. So let me delete this code, and I'll show you how I've done this. So what we want to do first is we want to open up our projectile blueprint. Now, this doesn't have to be in the first-person projectile default blueprint. This can be any one that you've created. So if you've made a custom one, this will still work in there. But I'm going to be using the default one. So for me, that's content, first-person BP, blueprints first person projectile if you're using this when you open it up you'll probably get something which looks like this we're going to delete this code unless of course you want it you can keep it but i'm going to delete it instead so what we're going to do off of this is we'll still be using the event hit so off of the event hit execution there we're going to cast to our character for me that's the first person character but for you this could be first third whatever you've named it but like i say in this example it's the first object is obviously going to be get player character for our object wildcard here after this, what we want to do is, as third person character, we want to get distance to, like so. Unchecking that from the target, and instead putting that in other actor. So the target is self, the other actor is as first person character. And what this is doing is it's getting the distance between the character, so the player, and the projectile. So like I say, we only want to do it if it's close enough to the player, so the bullet lands close enough to us. So that's how we're doing it here. At the return value of this, we're going to get a less than, so a float is less than a float. The bottom value I'm going to set as 200. Now you can set this as whatever you like, but this is essentially anything further than 200 units away from the player is too far away. So all I did to test this was just basically check the distance with a print string every time I shot the bullet and it landed and seeing where I wanted it to be. So the closest bullet I wanted it to be, what was that distance? It was about 170, so I'm just going to round it up to 200. So I think that's good for me. Again, you can change that if you want. After this, I'm going to hold down B, left click to get a branch plugging the condition as that return value of the less than there and the execution going to the cast to the first person character there. Off of true, we're going to hold down O and get a do once like that. So this is good for if your bullet bounces. So I've got my deleting, but if it bounces, we only want to do this once because otherwise if it bounces back towards the player, it will start pushing them up, which obviously we don't want. Then off of the completed of the do once, we want to launch the character. So a very simple node is as first person character out of the cast there. We're going to launch character. It's a node we already have, and it does exactly what you expect it to. And we only want to do it on the Z axes, so we're going to come off of the Z. So X and Y is zero. The Z, I'm going to put as 700. Now you can set this as any value you like, but I found 700 to be a good value for me. Then after this, I'm just going to get a destroy actor, as I want to just destroy the bullet after we're done with it, like so. And then the false of this branch here, I'm just going to also put into the destroy actor there, so that if it doesn't hit anything, or it's not close enough to the player, sorry, it gets destroyed as well. But again, you don't need to do that if that's not what you want to do with the code. And then this is it done. It is very simple like this. So all we're doing is when the bullet hits something, we're going to cast our character, get the distance between the projectile and the character. And if it's close enough, then we're going to launch the character upwards. If it's not, then we won't do anything. So this should work perfectly for us. So if we compile, save, and minimize this, we can hit play to test it. So if we shoot over here, nothing's going to happen. It just gets destroyed like so. And if we shoot down close enough to us, we're going to launch all the way up like this. If I shoot just out of the reach there, not close enough, but that one is. So this works perfectly for us. Again, we've got that glitch, but that's just with the project default first person character and just the projectile and all that. So obviously creating your own custom one would be a much more efficient way of doing this, but the code would work the exact same in your own custom one. So if you're making a proper game with proper bullets and stuff, that might be better. Or you might have already got that figured out for you. But this is what we've made today. It's nice and simple like so. But obviously, if you jump and the shoot straight down with far enough from the floor that it doesn't glitch through it, 
and it still jumps up like so. You can just spam it like that, jump up, and there you go. You have a little nice bounce like that. So I think that'll be it for this video, is we've done everything we want to do. We've created this mechanic, and if we shoot straight down, the player's just going to be launched up like so, as if the physics and the knockback of the gun is just shooting the player up like this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.